Hey there, everyone, how have you all been doing lately? I wanted to check in and see if you've had a chance to try out the Google Drive integration I introduced to you last time. Did it make organizing your media folder any easier? If so, I've got another great integration to share with you today that can really help you streamline your workflow on WordPress. It's a product from Google called Google Photos, which essentially functions as a media gallery. When you connect Google Photos to your WordPress site, you can manage all your media files in Google Photos and import them directly into WordPress, or even create galleries with them. As they say, work smart, not hard, and this integration can help you do just that by reducing the time you spend managing your media. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. The first step to integrating Google Photos with WordPress is to connect your Google Photos account to your WordPress site. To do this, go to the Settings option in the navigation bar and select WP Media Folder. Then, scroll down to the Cloud section and select Google Photos. As I mentioned in the Google Drive integration video, there are two connection options available, manual and automatic. I recommend using the automatic option to avoid any complicated processes. Simply click on the Connect button in the upper right tab, agree to the privacy policy, and log into your Google account. Once you've completed these steps, the integration will be ready to use. Now that we've finished setting up and connecting the integration, we can explore the Google Photos section in the Media menu of WordPress. On this page, you'll see a display of your Google Photos albums on the left navigation bar. By clicking on an album, you can see what media files are inside. Unlike the Google Drive integration, you can't upload, delete, or manage your Google Photos files directly on WordPress, that is due to a Google Access restriction. However, you can import these files to your WP Media folder galleries. Here's how it works. If you want to import an entire album to your media gallery, simply click on the album and choose the Import Album button. Then, select the destination folder in your library where you want it to be imported, and you're done. You can then check if the album has been successfully imported to your gallery. But what if you only want to import some files from an album, not the whole thing? Simply select the file you want and click on the Import Selection button. Choose the destination folder as before, and you're done. The media files you selected will now be imported into your chosen folder. With this integration, you can access your Google Photos storage and import media files to your library without having to download and re-upload them to WordPress. It's a great time saver. Let's keep exploring the other features of this integration. In this sequence, I'll show you how to create a gallery from an album in Google Photos. Let's get started. First, go to the Media Folder Gallery in the Media section of your WordPress site. Here, you'll see a button with the Google Photos icon on it. Click on it and a new window will pop up. In this window, you can select which media files or entire album to import as a gallery. For example, I'll import one of my albums. After a few moments, the album will be imported and displayed here in the gallery. It's as simple as that. You can use this gallery for whatever purpose you want, such as inserting it into your page via Elementor or any other page builder. Talking about Elementor. This integration works seamlessly with Elementor too. Let me quickly demonstrate it on my Elementor page. I'll insert the WP Media Folder Gallery add-on to my page from Elementor, then I'll select the gallery I just imported from Google Photos. And it works wonderfully. In addition, with this plugin add-on, you can also change the display style of the media files by choosing from the different themes provided by the add-on, such as portfolio or slider. Each theme has its own unique way of displaying files, so just pick the one that suits your taste. To wrap things up, Let's take a look at the pricing for this integration. In addition to the Google Photo integration connection we just covered, the WordPress Media Folder plugin offers several other great features, such as other cloud connectors like Google Drive, Dropbox, and OneDrive, among others. It's also compatible with popular third-party plugins like DD Builder, Gutenberg, and Elementor, which I demonstrated earlier in this video. The plugin is available for $49, but if you want to use the Google Photos integration, you'll need to upgrade to the $69 option, which also includes the cloud integrations I just mentioned. Thanks for watching this video. 
If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any questions using the comments. And of course, you'll find all the useful links we've talked about in the description. Have a productive day, bye.